Alright, hello and welcome back to Pokemon. I'll go heal up again just for the sake of it. Oh, it's raining here now all of a sudden. What, what was that? Yeah, it's raining on this road. I guess they do have different like weather patterns in this game. That's cool. We didn't, I haven't seen that before. But yeah, I'm gonna go back heal up, and then we're gonna finish off that route we started exploring last time. I don't think we've ever seen the lightning effects before. That's pretty cool too. I like that as a touch. But yeah, so we're back here. Last time we cleared all the way up. I think we cleared out all the trainers. Man, it's so cool having the thunder sound effects. I forgot the lightning effects. I forgot about that, but... Yeah, this time... We are going to be... There is an event... I think there's an event of some kind up here. Didn't mean to go in the grass. That was a mistake on my end. It's a uh, winning and that's pretty cool. But yeah, so I don't think that Thunder Lightning does anything like it through battles, but yeah, there's this is an event you have to do, so I figured I would leave that for today, today and which is what we're going to be doing today. Well, okay, at least they're kind of nice about it, but yeah, I'm immediately going to go in. And there's some like, this is a area you've got to clear out. There's a bunch of battles that you got to do here. You're a child. There's just a PC to use here and a bed, which you just automatically heal up in if you'll interact with. Maybe I didn't need to go all the way back down there last time, but anyways, there's some battles we'll be doing here. We'll be cleaning this out today, since you have to before you get to um, go to the next town, but as always, we got a good matchup set up, especially with like healing right there. I think this is mostly just going to be using Spark. Also, one thing I thought to myself, Spark, I don't know how Spark is supposed to work, like what its flavor text is, but I think Spark might be a, a contact move, just like based on how the move is meant to work. Um, then maybe they did program that distinction in and just like... I didn't understand it before, but yeah, we're gonna fight this guy too. Oh, we don't have to fight this guy too, but we're going to, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't think any of these smaller fights are gonna be too interesting in and of themselves. But, you know, we may as well get the experience. Also, I just thought of something I'm gonna do real quick off camera, probably. Yeah, I got the Macho Brace out. I think a Genikai, when a Genikai is ready to do battles, we'll give a Genikai the Macho Brace. This is going to be a double battle too, so I gotta... I should switch around my team a little bit here. This is a... these are always fun. They don't even know what they're here for. But yeah, this is a nice little... Um, I think I mentioned this before, but it's nice how they kind of mix in double battles. Like, they're not... They're not the majority of the battles you're doing, but... They're still, like, enough to be interesting, right? So what I'm gonna do here... I'm gonna spark the Zubat. I'm gonna assume it's gonna one-hit KO it. Next I have here is gonna come out as a Poochiena, so I'm gonna double-kick that spot, too. And they move in the right order, too. That's good. And this way we'll only get an attack from the Poochian, which will be good. Yeah, perfect. And then, since Monyur is going to move first, I don't think we'll be able to move quite that efficiently on the Poochian, but it'll still be nice. It's going to just over Sleuth anyway, so... Yeah, and we just hit our same attacks here. When Yair goes first, so unless it's powerful enough to... Oh, well, this might work out good then, actually. Let's see if Heraclius can one-hit KO the Carvana. Or I guess two-hit KO, you know what I mean. Oh, can one-hit KO even perfect. 
I guess doing all those optional areas, we are kind of like pretty well leveled at this point, unlike most of the time. So that's pretty good. Everyone's so close to level, don't really... I'm comfortable having anyone lead for the battles. Alright, and so that's all of the trainers here, beforehand. I think that's the boss there, so I'm gonna go back downstairs and heal up at the bed, just because it's like, they give you it for free, basically, right there. Everyone is just standing in the way, that's cool. Didn't mean to do that, that's good. Sorry about that. Getting a little messy here, but I guess like in the recording time, this might not be too far off from just like a section. Having a nice rest point here means that I think we can end the video here pretty comfortably. Although I have to go back and grind for berries again. I didn't set my team up right, I don't think. Or maybe, maybe I'm still good. It's interesting seeing like the um, designs, the admins, because they weren't quite set on having all the admins in that be like their own characters yet, but they still kind of have some like interesting designs. Also, I don't know how interesting this battle is gonna be. I meant to lead with uh, my manac trick, but like it doesn't even matter here. Yeah, my Ena can just kick that too. Okay, that's not ideal, but I think we'll still kill it. Nope, we will not. Perfect, beautiful. Love to see it. Oh, okay, that's you no, know, that's dangerous. But I'm gonna play through it. I'm gonna try to play through it just because, like. I think we can take this point to out with our other Pokemon anyways, so... And we don't even need to, it doesn't matter. But yeah, so... That's, I think, technically all of this area, that's... Pretty exciting. Yeah, there's some plot stuff happening. Yeah, that's we're gonna be heading there too eventually. And I get to save these folks. I get a cast for him, that's something that just happens. Sure, that works his name. I like how they put it in the PC. I don't know if that's part of the hack or what, but that's a nice touch. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't, I think there's one more thing I'm going to be looking to do. First off, I'm going to talk to this child. Yeah. It's good, well, I'm going to bed here, I'm going to save. But there's one more uh, surprise we have to do, which I'm going to save up first, because I'm kind of afraid, but I'm not going to go to Fortree City today. I don't think, I think we're already close enough to full video, but we're gonna, I'm kind of talking in circles because I don't want to show it off immediately. I want to let it happen, but right, you clear this out, you go across the bridge, and then, yeah, look who it is. Okay, why were you looking for me, but, I love in this game, it's, Kind of a mix thing that they don't give you any like preparation time for the rival fights. Like and then in later games where they get more handholdy, they like like you heal off whatever first here, it just happens. Whatever state you're in you're, it's just something's gonna happen to you. I mean I have a guy too, so I know this was coming, but I do kind of like that. I th I think it's funny. 
Although that did a lot less damage than I would have liked. That's not very good. Although the Lombre is doing nothing to me. Perfect. I don't think it matters, but especially if you're just going to keep using Swift for like 12 damage. Alright, maybe this fight won't be as bad, because like, I know this isn't one of the ones people are always scared of, and I am kind of like leveled up past where I maybe need to be. Marsh Tomp. It's half ground type. You know what, I'll keep him on here though, just to try to get some... What can one year do against Marsh Tom? Uh, can we Thunder Wave it? No, that's not gonna work. Because, uh, this Marsh Tomp is gonna be a problem. We might not win this immediately. I might have to bring in a Grass type or something. My plan here Heraclius isn't gonna be good against any of her Pokemon. So we'll bring out Heraclius. Hopefully we outspeed her at the same level, and we'll try to sand attack this, yeah. And we'll do our classic uh, dodge tanking, beautiful. I mean, with the rain too, that's... She can have any Pokemon depending on what you chose, so... It's not necessarily going to benefit her that directly, but like... That is very unfortunate that she gets, um... A rain boost to her marsh top, which is already like a big problem. And it's been a speed tie, we've just been lucky so far, that's good. But yeah. Because her last Pokemon, her other Pokemon, is a Slugma. So I don't think there's anything we can like do well here against this with Heraclius other than just like set up as much as we can on the marsh top. Because I'll, I'll of course try to get to minus 6 if I can. Or did I get a speed drop at some point is why I'm now out, not out speeding it. Alright, and our luck finally runs out, fair enough. I think we go for Vemnios here. Because the Genikaya bad play up, but Genikai is going to get crushed. Um, and I think we want to save her Pelipper for after. I think double teaming, I think at this point, isn't going to be helpful. Let's see how much Psychic does. I'll take it. Oh, come on, Liv. I know you're not the tankiest. Alright, that's not too bad. And that's where a speed drop is coming from. A 28... So we should live a crit and be just outspeed anyways, so whatever. Marsh Tomp is always scary because I don't have a dedicated grass type on my team yet. And then it's Slugma because of course it is. AV Sim, this hopefully will just one shot and this will be nothing because I got the rain now on my side. Yeah, Slugma balls as always. One shot with water gun? Come on. Yeah, of course. Rain, super effective, higher level. It's all good. Alright, a, ch a cha. <laughs> oh, this big lightning strike here, that's cool. Ooh, that's that's big actually. Yeah, we sure do. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, and yeah, more people. Yeah, well... Okay. Cool, everyone's gotten their three cents in. I don't think that's how this thing's supposed to go. Who is... Who are these people? Wait, what? Alright, I'm gonna heal up first, just in case. Well, let's talk to these. Oh, those are just his, um, 
goons that were behind him last time. Alright, yeah, that's good. Good talk. I will save here. We'll call it a video. Tomorrow we'll explore uh, the next city, Fortree. And I gotta go uh, grind for some berries. So thanks to thank you for watching.